where can you meet other singles? That's the question we get very often. You get to discover, first of all, the things that you enjoy doing and things that you would like to do with others. When you're looking for a life partner, you definitely want to find someone that you can do things together with, that they enjoy similar things that you do. Not all things, obviously, because you want them to be different, right? But you need to create a list of values and interests that you have and values and interests that you would like for your partner to have. And then go from there. So quality singles often spend time in places that reflect their interests, values, and goals. Okay? And so being proactive in places that align with your lifestyle mm -hmm. can help you find singles who share your values and interests. Yes. So here's some ideas, some different things to consider. There's much, many more than this list that I'm going to share. Yeah, and I would also add to that is that there's a way to leverage those things. Some things you might already doing, but you can combine what you're doing with these things. So that way you can do what you do already and then look for the partner as well. That's right. And also, if you want to uh, uh, learn the skills of connecting and breaking the ice with other singles in these scenarios, mm -hmm. we have that available to you in some of our content and our other two YouTube videos. Mm -hmm. So there's one thing to meet singles in these places, but then yes. the next step can be intimidating for some. When right. if, you're, if your confidence is low in walking yeah. up to somebody, shaking their hand, getting to know them, and, and figure, asking them questions to get to know them, well, then you can meet all the singles in the world, and it's not going to be any good, right? That's right. You but, can be in the single group right now and not actually connect yeah. with people. The number one reason that dating apps and sites don't work is, number one, very few people are willing to exercise the patience to play the numbers game. Mm -hmm. And to let go of attachment and expectations. Yes. And simply focus on just saying, you know, getting to know as many people as possible and being okay with releasing quickly, forgiving quickly, mm -hmm. no judgment. Yes. I'm reminded of the man that I spoke with who found his fiance. They're not married yet. He had a hundred conversations with a hundred different women before he landed on the one in the mm -hmm. dating. You know, he was on four different dating sites, but he was yeah. really actively putting himself out there and made a decision to not get offended, have no judgment, and just be willing to play the numbers game and make lots of friends in the process. Yeah. So, you know, if that's you and you're willing to step out mm -hmm. and crunch it and go after it, that's one way you can do it. If that's not you, then get off the dating sites because they're not going to work. That's right. Uh, your spouse is not just going to throw themselves in front of you. If they do, then... We'll probably have other, other issues going on too. <laughs> yeah. All right, anyhow, back to the list. So community and networking events. Local meetups, business mixers, or professional associations yeah. can attract singles who are career-focused mm -hmm. and enjoy connecting with others. Mm -hmm. uh, workshops and classes. Those in are a, fun. In alignment with your interests. Yeah. Or maybe not your interests. Who knows? You know? you, maybe you want to learn something. Maybe you want to learn something new. Yeah. Uh, cooking classes, art workshops, fitness groups, language classes are popular with singles who enjoy learning new things yeah. and meeting like-minded people. Mm -hmm. Volunteering events. This is a good one. Community service projects or charity events often attract caring community-minded people. Yeah. Why are volunteering events good? Well, singles are more likely to not have the burden of family responsibilities mm -hmm. tying them down. They have a little bit more elbow and wiggle room to come and go as they please. And uh, if you're ready to embrace responsibility and yeah. create a legacy, obviously marriage would be uh, in the picture for you. So go where they are and uh, work. You mm -hmm. know, be active, be doing something productive yes. and meet other people that have a similar mindset like that. Um, Coffee shops and bookstores, many people who enjoy a calm intellectual setting mm -hmm. are found working, mm -hmm. reading, or relaxing in coffee shops and bookstores. Yeah. This or reminds me of studying. A lot of yeah. students go to coffee shops to study as well. Or even work, you know, those who work from home or they have remote jobs, some of them enjoy just being in the coffee shop and doing it there or having meetings there. So you'll be able to bump into someone that might be sharing the same interests as you are. There's a lot of singles 
you may be one of them that don't put themselves out there. They're so busy working yes. that they don't have, they're not putting time into meeting people and mm-hmm. building friendships and relationships. Yep. So if you're one of those that's willing to put themselves out there and you, you see a single person that isn't, yeah. but they're so busy, they're so working, so busy working and, you know, going after their career, just off the cuff, an idea is you kind of have to put yourself in their world. Mm-hmm. If you're like really serious about it, when you, when you bond with a person over a shared mutual experience, like on the job site, mm-hmm. like on the job, uh, that's, that's one way that you can meet somebody, meet somebody, but that's a very limited way of doing it. When, when you're super busy and you don't have time to form relationships, then you, have, then you limit yourself to the relationships around you, which is your work environment. Outdoor recreation, hiking groups, running clubs, and cycling clubs mm-hmm. groups often attract active singles who enjoy the outdoors. Yes. Church or spiritual groups. For those looking for values alignment, church groups or other faith-based communities mm-hmm. are good places to meet singles with similar beliefs. And many of you mentioned to me before that, well, I go to church and there are really no singles that are my age or close around me. Well, then find another church to go to for maybe a Bible study or a singles group or some something that's a small group that you can find. Maybe there is one that's um, like they have a service during the week. You know, and so find some other place to go to al- along with what you're already doing. Not just go to church, you know, like they're not just go and then leave, but actually hang out and make, you know, have conversations and, and get to know people, like form them, ask them about their family, occupation, recreation, and find their signs, strengths, interests, goals, and needs. Mm-hmm. Connect. Get to know mm-hmm. people. You never know who the person that the who knows who that they could connect you to that just might be the one you want to marry. Once, Networking yeah. and social clubs, wine tastings, dance classes, or social clubs like Toastmasters can provide fun ways to meet yeah. others in relaxed settings. One other thing I'll add is watch the community events section in your local newspaper. Yeah. And go. Farmers markets. Farmers markets, uh, block oh, that, parties, you know, I'll, outdoor movie theaters if you live in the city. Yes. Yeah, I love farmers markets because when you're out and about, you like the so if you if you ever been, you go from one booth to another, you see what other people have, and then there are other people in the booths that are also looking and tasting and doing whatever, and you know of same interest because if you like farmer markets, then they also like farmer's market, right? All the people that like farmer's markets are going to be at the farmer's market. Yeah, right? <laughs> there you go. Concerts, you know, like the community concerts. That's a great way to do things. Parks, you know, there's just so many things. When we are stuck in our home and just our own daily routine, sometimes we don't know or see other things. But I mentioned it before. Grocery stores are a great place to meet people. You know, because everybody wants to eat and needs to eat. So they go shopping, right? That's a good place to go. So if you want to know how to break the ice and start conversations with strangers in these locations, then just watch this video right up here. Yeah. All right, guys. That's it for today. Yeah. I guess. See you next time. See you next time. Here's to your connections.